in 2011, I made Super Bard and the sexy quantum stories. Super Bard! Super Bard! Super Bard! His wrinkled face is no giveaway, but no one really expects old white guys to be poor. I wonder when it will be my stop. When I decide to get out. My driver uh, I've been working on the genre of short stories for performance uh, for several years now. And this means that I combine with my storytelling with music and video. Then accept. And for the first time ever, breathe tar into my lungs. Life flashes past us, never more than a fleeting impression. And what it was all about was one guy, a guy called Steve, and how he lived his life uh, in a quantum parallel universe. Which sounds wonderfully complicated, and, and it was. And I told stories about things like traffic cones and alien jellyfish. When I tell stories, I write them uh, thinking about the music and the video that's going to be involved. I write all the music myself. Uh, and most of the video is made by me literally going out with my camera uh, and pointing at things. For example, a large traffic cone. I leap up my seat and I'm out the door in a second. The wheel of a push gear is screaming as she pushes it forward. Stop! I scream. Hey, look! 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 Uh, well, I, I make it all actually uh, in my room. Don't put your hand in your pocket. Because once you start, you can't stop it. So I got some rather lovely reviews actually uh, for my time up there. So uh, the storyteller from the future entertains with wit, weirdness, and eyebrow-raising songs. The future of storytelling. Uh, Lefkovic could be a very big talent indeed. I don't want to put words in people's mouths, but I hope they're not talking about my brother who was teching. Technically crafted and poetically written show. A unique raconteur. Oh, hello. Um, it is so. Um, I was wondering if you would like my name to. <laughs> So yeah, no, it went brilliantly. I had a really great time, but obviously the next step is how can I make it bigger and better? Uh, and so I've been thinking about that. I want to involve puppetry. More interactivity, I think, is, is absolutely key. I've got ideas uh, of stories featuring some of the character people in the audience. The video, for example, I want to be far more integrated with the performance itself. I mean, how great would it be if uh, you go into an auditorium and suddenly you find videos up there of you uh, actually playing as you go. I, I, I really like that, I'd really like to play with that a lot more. In time. <laughs> Back in time. What's really exciting about this form of multimedia storytelling is that it's only really possible in the here and now. Five years ago, uh, the technology needed was simply out of people's price ranges. But now I'm able to set up an HD video camera, point it at things, edit it in the comfort of my own home on the same computer that I'm using all my music uh, recording and editing software. And then I can combine the lot, which just isn't wasn't possible five years ago uh, and so I feel like we're on the brink of something the brink of a new genre being created that combines elements of everything that we can use so I've really enjoyed the Edinburgh Fringe this year it was amazing to such a great experience really good uh, for research as well for looking at other people's shows looking at what they're doing seeing what I can steal what I'd really like to do next year is do the Edinburgh Fringe but also use it as a base to tour around the UK showing them what storytelling can do and how it can develop into something new uh, during the next century Super Bowl. Super Bowl.